This is lesson 6-3, exploring areas using trapezoidal approximation. We've been exploring different ways to find the area under a curve. Specifically, we've been using a velocity curve, as you can see here, a velocity on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. And we've tried different things like uh, rectangles, uh, where we've used the left the middle and the right portion of the rectangle to uh, approximate the area. Well, in this lesson, we're going to learn uh, another way to, to approximate the area under a curve, and that is by using trapezoids. As you can see here, we've got a trapezoid uh, to find the area between 2 and 4. Okay, and as you can see, it pretty it's pretty close. There isn't too much area that isn't covered. Uh, there's a very small portion of area right in here that isn't covered. But for the most part, it looks to be a pretty good approximation of the area under the curve between two and four. Well, how do we find the area of a trapezoid? As you might recall, the area of a trapezoid is equal to one half the height times the sum of the bases. Okay, here's the formula right here. And we call it h over 2 times b1 plus b2. Now it's a little bit tricky with the way we have drawn the trapezoid here because h, or the height, is actually the distance from 2 to 4, as you can see here. So that is actually the height from 2 to 4. Our trapezoid is effectively turned on its side. Now the two bases, B1 and B2, as you'll recall on a trapezoid, are the parallel sides. So you can see here that we've got B1 right here on the left side and B2 on the right side. Okay, so we have all the uh, variables for the trapezoid. We have the height, H, we have B1 and B2, so we can actually calculate the area of that trapezoid. Well, again, we can create multiple figures here. Just like we had multiple rectangles, we can have multiple trapezoids. Here'd be a case where we have two trapezoids. And, you know, maybe it would be pretty close to being the uh, area under the curve. But let's see if we can get something that's even a little more accurate than that. So here we have four trapezoids, okay? And as you can see, it would appear that we're pretty, pretty close to being the area under the curve between 2 and 4. So how are we going to go about calculating that area? Well, here's the formulas here, okay? As you can see, uh, the trapezoids have a height of 1 half. Now, we've got 1 half over 1 half, so that becomes 1 fourth. The sum of the bases in this first case are F2 f of 2 time plus f of 2.5. Then we have 1 fourth times f of 2.5 plus f of 3. Then 1 fourth times f of 3 plus f of 3.5. And lastly, 1 fourth times f of 3.5 plus f of 4, equaling a area under the curve of 47.5 miles. Now, how accurate is this to the actual area under the curve? Well, in this case, we could actually use an integral. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of integration right now. That's for, the, for our next lesson. But if we were to take the integral from 2 to 4 of this curve, and remember the curve is y is equal to 2x squared plus 5. So if we were to take the integral of that from 2 to 4, we would come out with the actual area being 47.3 miles. So as you can see, using the trapezoid, using four trapezoids, we had 47.5 miles. So that indeed is a pretty good approximation for the area under the curve. Well, you might ask, why do we even bother dealing with uh, the sum of the areas of trapezoids or rectangles or things of that nature when we can use integration. Well, the fact remains that integration will not work for all curves. 
there are going to be some curves, some functions that we cannot integrate. And in that case, if we need to find the area under the curve, we are going to have to take and use either trapezoids or rectangles or some approximation method. So that's probably the best reason for why we learn how to take and approximate the area under a curve using trapezoids or rectangles. But in most cases that we're going to deal with, obviously we're going to be able to use integration, and integration is a subject for our next lesson.